Hey guys, I'm Jacqueline. I'm Marcella. And we just got back from the movies. We just saw 47 meters down. <laughs> It was the most stressful, like, hour, two hour, for, oh my god. It was so, so oh good. It was so, so for non-spoiler, we're not going to get into spoiler, spoilers right now. If you don't know what it's about, obviously it's a shark movie. It stars Mandy Moore and Claire Holt, who is Rebecca from The Vampire Diaries. So yeah. that was cool. We didn't know she was in that. No, I mean, I kind of, I guess she should have looked familiar in the trailer, but yeah. I didn't put two and two together until we watched it. We're like, oh my god. Basically, they get stuck 47 meters down. And yeah, that's all you really need to know. It's not a very complicated plot. No, they're in a cage with sharks around mm -hmm. them and they drop 47 meters down and it's their way of getting out. It was maybe the most stressful I have shark seen. movie that I've seen in a yeah. while. I, I was very The surprised. last shark movie that I remember seeing was The Shallows and I think mm -hmm. that if you saw that one, this one was a lot more suspenseful. Yeah. A lot more like my heart was like going I was just like I had like a blanket in the theater and I was like oh my gosh like holding it yeah the entire film really takes place underwater so that mm -hmm. added more of the oh my god factor to it yeah but, definitely yeah the whole time in the theater me and Marcel like under blankets like whispering to each other like screaming in the theater and people were like looking at us because we were dying it's terrifying in a really great way like especially for the summer <laughs> yeah especially for the summer we mm -hmm. highly recommend going and checking it out because it's definitely worth a watch so rating wise i think i would give it uh, somewhere between a a minus and b plus somewhere yeah between. i would definitely give it a good a minus it was mm -hmm. so good and very um complex actually like for you don't really realize all the difficulties that goes into being that far down underwater i feel like until you see this movie scale of one to ten i would give it a solid like nine yeah i would, I would, give, it I would give it a nine that i would give it a good. nine star rating like i would give it a 4.5 i would give it four yeah. Four and a half, something like It was that. so good. So go see it, and then you can come back and watch our spoilery section where we delve into all the details that happened. Now let's talk about this movie. So the beginning of the movie, it just kind of... The beginning of the movie wasn't as long as I thought it would be. We really no, get right we get into, into it. it. <laughs> like the, the majority of the movie takes place underwater in that cage. Yeah, we get a little bit of, like, you see them in Mexico, and you get the backstory of Mandy Moore's character, and she is... She just went up through a breakup, right, with that guy Spencer. Yeah, yeah. And so she feels like she's not fun enough because that's the reason why he broke up with her. So that... Yeah, but she didn't want to do this whole thing to begin mm -hmm. with. Yeah. So She was trying to be somebody that she wasn't. Yeah, and it was a lot of peer pressure, actually. They peer pressured yes. her into doing this. The sister was so annoying. I'm like, stop, like, stop begging her. Like, obviously she doesn't want to do it. But, like, honestly, like, who would do that? Like, I would never do she that. She did. She did it because she wanted to prove to a... She wanted yeah. to prove to that guy a point, which... It Exactly, but I would never go <laughs> I would never do no. this. No. Of course, as soon as they get in there, the two guys go first, and of course nothing happens to them, but as soon as they get in there, they drop down, and that was terrifying. Them yeah, dropping the whole down, part of them going down. Uh -huh, and they don't even drop like a little bit. They drop to the bottom of they the ocean. They go to 47 like, meters on like uh -huh. this rock, and there's sharks all around them, and like right away... They show these clips of these giant sharks, like, circulating, like, the bow and all that. Like, we get these sh shots. Like, these are not, like, small sharks. These were think, huge sharks. You would think that that was enough for them just to see the sharks in no. the bow. No, we need to go... We, we need, need to, to go, go actually in the them. water with them. Like, go to an aquarium or something. Like, this is not necessary. We called it, like, right away that that, that um, she was the sister that was gonna die. Like... Right away, Lisa didn't want to do this. So right away, you kind of know, okay, she's not going to be the one to die. No. The one that's going to die is the one whose idea it was, which yeah. was Kate. So, yeah, yeah she, we, we, we knew right it. away. Throughout the whole movie, we're just kind of like whispering to each other. We're like, oh, she's going to die now. Oh, she's going to die now. Just waiting for the sister yeah. to die. Because obviously, they're not both going to make it out. That mm -hmm. would have been unrealistic. In a shark movie, you always have to keep like maybe one like one maybe two but usually one person makes it out of the shark movies yeah i didn't know i read a little bit i called that both of them were gonna go yeah but it was really terrifying honestly this whole situation just really freaks me out like 
I hate big. sharks. <laughs> and then there, yeah, Marcel like hates sharks like the whole time. As soon as we get in the car, she's like, I don't like sharks. It's all your fault that we just saw this movie. I thought it was really um stressful when they started to inch up, and as soon as they got like the word, like okay, um, we got the new hook in, and they started to go up. And then the rope starts to drop again. Like that part was. What really, are the odds? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Taylor is just like just, literally this whole movie. Then when they just talk stay to in Taylor, the cage, stay just in the stay cage. In the cage, just stay in the cage. They're running out of oxygen, Taylor. <laughs> they can't stay in the cage. And you know Taylor did not call for backup right away. No, he did. Like halfway through this movie, and Taylor's like, "Oh, the Coast Guard. I I, I called them. He's coming." But they're like, oh, we'll be there in an hour. You should have did that as soon as, as, soon as it went down. The rope snapped. You should have held. Called. Every single time they were taking turns going up there, swimming to like that 40 meters where they were able to get a hold of him, it was really scary. Like, I thought she was going to die yeah. a few times there. I thought it was really cool, though, when they saw the flashlight. And Marcella in the theater is like, oh my god, it's the one with the light from Finding Nemo. <laughs> no, okay. You know, I saw the flashlight bobbing around. I immediately thought of that shark, that part in Finding Nemo. In Finding Nemo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when they're like, hello, and they're trying to get his attention, and it has the flashlight, and then all of a sudden it has like the teeth, and then yeah. they, they attack Dory and Marlon. Yes. <laughs> Lisa went and she was swimming to go. She was like, oh, it's Javier. We have to get his attention. Javier dies immediately. Poor Javier. He never stood a he, chance. Yeah, and it was really like teasing the way. I felt like the shark was teasing them the entire time. Mm -hmm. Like it kept circulating. Well, the there cage. was a lot of opportunities for that shark to just eat them. So and it was many. literally playing with them. Yeah. Exactly. But Javier is literally right there. Gets eaten right away. Like he, the shark didn't want to play with Javier. She gets the spear from him. And when she got the spear, I'm like, oh, okay, this is going to be really cool. She's going to actually fight the shark. I actually kind of wish she that happened. didn't. And you know, in the shallows, we actually get her fighting the shark, so I kind of liked that portion of that better. Like, mm -hmm. I wish we got to see more of, like, I don't know, like, trying to stab it, maybe. Well, like, the whole like ending, they, she got rescued instead of actually, like, beating the shark on her yeah. own, which mm -hmm. I guess would have been a little unrealistic when you're running out of oxygen and you're 47 meters down, so. Oh my god, when she got her legs stuck in the cage, I thought she was gonna lose her and leg. And she's, like, losing all the blood. Oh my god, all of the blood kept, like, then she cuts her hand on the spear, like, everything is going bad, yeah. honestly. And the way that they had the oxygen ticking down, and then there was, like, oh, she's two left, it's one left, mm -hmm. And it was really scary. The whole thing with the hallucination. And as soon as you hear that there's going to be an, a hallucination factor into what the other oxygen tanks are, that, that could be a factor in from the oxygen tanks, you know that there's going to be a hallucination. So the whole time we're like, okay, when are we going to get the mm -hmm. hallucination part of it? And so when she starts to hear her sister, I'm like, oh my god. We were like, that's the hallucination. Her sister's really yeah, not like, alive. She's definitely not hearing her sister. Yeah. And then it makes you think that she is, and then she finds her sister, and you're like, oh, okay. Like, maybe they're both gonna make it out of here. And that was such a cool part when they're both, when she's dragging her sister, and they're both, and then they have the flares going, and they ignite the flares, and you see all the sharks surrounding them. That was, that was so the coolest cool. part of the movie. Was so and cool. it wasn't even real. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish that that was real. That's why mm -hmm. I knocked it down a notch, and I just, I wish that that was more accurate because that was a lot cooler and I liked when they were trying to get up to the boat and the sharks kept going after them and I guess that's not really realistic like at that point like the shark would have just killed them yeah because really. there was all of them and they were like right yeah there. eventually as soon as you see like oh my god that whole thing was a hallucination we were shocked you saw it coming at first and then it kind of tricked us it tricked us exactly yeah. because what well, we said we were like oh wait why didn't we see the body like we were kind of a little disappointed like I guess that's like sick like, we like violence but like we were disappointed that we didn't see well, the body because we're like throughout this whole movie we're like oh when's the sister gonna die when's the sister gonna die she gets taken away by the shark you don't even see it so like i know that I the know. reason why they did that was to trick us all with the whole hallucination thing yeah which was so, very clever it was yeah. a really clever plot it was a really great idea honestly i would have liked see her get the shark with the spear though i thought that mm -hmm. that was kind of just put there just for her to like Cut her hand. Yeah, what was the point of her having a spear then, honestly? The whole point of it was like, oh, she was looking at her hand and it was the hallucination. But I wanted her to no. somehow, def like, 
injure the shark long enough for her to swim up to the surface. Yeah. But it I was guess a, when you're that far down, they couldn't have because of the no. whole oxygen bubbles thing in your head. I think the way that they did it was really great. I yeah. really think it was clever and it was just, it was really smart and mm -hmm. I was shocked. We didn't see that coming at all. Yeah. I mean, it made it more stressful in some ways because we're like stressed out for them to get to the boat and then that ended up not even being real. And then it's like, oh my gosh, that's not real. So now we have to find another way out. Yeah. Jacqueline was upset that we didn't get like a little epilogue thing. I wanted to see what happened when they got when she got up to the boat. Like somebody should have pushed Taylor overboard, honestly. <laughs> I would like to see her at the end confront Stuart because this whole movie, she's trying to be this fun girl in Mexico because of this guy. And yeah. I would have liked her That's to like there was have no this resolution. ending of her be like, you know what, like I tried to prove a point to you and my sister lost her life and I battled sharks and you're an asshole. I just like slapped him or something. Like, yeah, I mean it was such a minor detail of the plot, but they definitely could have. Yeah, but it was. A, it, it really was a big part of it, why she did she, what yeah. she did with her sister. That's true. That's true. They should have thrown that in. I'm telling you, I wanted a little bit more. As soon as they were going up to the to the uh, the shore, it was like what? That's yeah. it. Like I would have liked that, and I would have liked to see her battle the shark. I think those were my two big things that I mm -hmm. wish that we got in the movie. But overall, it was a fantastic movie. It was really heart pounding and just, I kept saying to myself, I'm like, I want to know how they filmed this because the whole movie was underwater. That would have been like, interesting to see that, how they filmed it. Like, so let us know what you thought of the movie down below. We'd love to talk about it with you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you're scared of sharks. <laughs> I hate sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, follow us on Twitter. We are at City of the Fails. Let us know if you have any recommendations for summer movies that you'd like to say. Thank you guys so Thank much for you. watching. Bye! <laughs>